My name is Kid Desfecto. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and I've been making music for like seven years now. Like how, how they would receive it, or yeah, yeah. Man, I want them to just go crazy, you know. Like I want them to like listen to it whenever they're going through a problem, or whenever they're they need inspiration, or they need, or they just they need to fill that void, you know what I'm saying? Like my music's right there, you know. And I I want to be able to like make my music accessible for like the youth, but also the the, old, the older generation too, like on some Bob Marley type of thing, you know, because that's what he was all about. Like he made sure that like he the youth were understanding what he was saying, but also like the, you know, adults were as well. So that's, I'm big on that. And I just want to make music that's bigger than me. I said this last year, but I, I just mean it. Like, I just want to make music bigger than me. I want to be able to just make music that people could sample like a hundred years from now. So like my influence would never go away. You know what I'm saying? Cause Nina Simone, her influence is never going away. You know what I'm saying? Like. The amount of times Kanye and other producers have sampled her art, you know what I'm saying, and made it bigger than what it was, you know, like, and that's what art's all about, you know. They always try to, like, I hate when they always try to, like, come at producers for sampling and chopping up, you know, little bits and pieces from songs. It's like, you want, you want people to do that for you, you know what I'm saying, because that's going to make your music live on longer than you just putting it out and just having a hundred people or a million people, whatever, to listen to it and just leave it there, you know what I'm saying, like, people got to come back to it, you know, so. Been a minute, got leisure.